In a very recent channel update video, I talked about how I was currently obsessing over Hohokam, so I just figured, let's sit down, let's talk a little bit about it, and maybe kind of tell you what it's like, and kind of give you an idea of who who you need to be in order to enjoy this game. Maybe, maybe that's a good way of putting it, because this is certainly not for everybody. It's very indie, it's almost kind of like a work of art, you could almost say. Like, it's not too much a game, which I hate to say it, because it is a game, there's no question about it, but the focus is somewhere else. It's not with the gameplay, it's on the visuals, on the music, and on exploration, and uh, essentially what it then boils down to is you going through all kinds of worlds, they're all interconnected, and you have to then solve the mystery in each world. For example, I believe, is there even one to this world that I'm currently in? But, yeah, whatever, you have to do that and essentially then free um, other creatures that then look very similar to you. And it's all just so goddamn beautiful. That is kind of one point that I'm trying to make with this video, just how pretty the game is and how cool it all feels, right? Because there's all kinds of interactive stuff, like if you touch something, it lights up. If you brush by these, I don't know, these stones, they all light up, and then if you actually complete them, they open up a portal, which we're gonna go through, I think. At least one of these we're gonna go through. Let's figure it out. Figure out which one I would like to go through. I'm not exactly sure. But there's like 17 or 18 worlds, I believe. And um, there's a mystery to every single one of them, and you have to just go around and solve them. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe to kind of get started on that whole question, right? What kind of person you need to be? You need to be someone that's okay with not having very deep gameplay. You need to be someone that is okay with just having like a general curi curiosity drive the game. Because that is essentially what it all boils down to, right? It's all about finding other stuff in worlds. And also just appreciating the art. That's also a big aspect of it. But I think that is very easy. <laughs> like, that is a very easy thing to do with this game. It's maybe not an art style for everyone. But um, it's really beautiful. And I'm finding myself, I don't know, just super just enjoying it. For example, yesterday actually had a very fantastic experience with Hohokam because I actually just decided to boot it up on my PlayStation Vita and plug in some like better headphones and just sit down in the living room and just play Hohokam for like an hour and that was amazing because the sound is really well designed and then of course that um, in addition to the art style just made for a very relaxing experience right it was just like me sitting down and listening to a very well constructed I don't know like album or something like that with like very ambient sounds it was a lot of fun right and what you could always do in these areas is um, check the start screen and see how many eyes you have opened up and seemingly only four out of eight I have already freed the snake in this one and I don't plan on showing too many areas off by the way but it seems like that there's still eyes for me to complete like eyes very similar to this one like this is just one of those collectibles that you have to open up so let's maybe try and see whether I can find the other ones as well um, but yeah for the most part I don't want to talk too much about it because that is not necessarily the point of it. The point of it is just enjoying what is offered and that is mostly, of course as I've been saying, visual combined with audio. And uh, I believe you can also get the soundtrack for this as well, which I would highly recommend. It's, there's some really good stuff in there. Now, usually I'm not necessarily the biggest on like every kind of um, every kind of like electronic music, like ambient electronic music, but this really like hits a spot for me. I couldn't really tell you why, but it's just very well constructed. 
All right, now that was another eye. So now we have found two, right? We only need two more, if I'm not mistaken. So there's probably another one in the sky somewhere here. I would at least hope so. Come on, eye in the sky. There's another one that that is already accessed. Huh. We'll find it. There's another one. Pretty good. Is that all now? Let's check it out. Right. Eight out of eight. Ah, oh, so good. All right. So we have completed this world now. That is awesome. All right, let's go down here then. Maybe light some more things up, I believe, with everything that you love. Like, add. The music also then adds. Which is very well crafted. I, I really like it. And you can also go like super speed mode. Um, now, I don't think I've ever gotten these to light up though. I would almost assume that there's another like secret quote unquote connected to that, right? Maybe now that I've lit up all of those, all of these are lit up. None of these are <laughs> lit up. There's another one there, okay. Oh god! I've never seen this before. Can I visit them? Let's go visit them. Wee! I don't think they're doing too much. I mean, I've essentially already unlocked everything in the area, but still really nice. I don't know. There's just always so much stuff to find out, right? And at some points, it also goes beyond just touching stuff in the environment. Sometimes you actually have to really think about what you're doing, which is also pretty nice. All right, let's go into one more area, and I think then I'm gonna already gonna, yeah, just call it quits, just because I don't want to show off too too much. But hopefully by now you've already gotten kind of a feel for what this game is like and whether it's something for you. I don't know. I just it, it's funny. This game is not for everybody, as I was saying, but I already get so much enjoyment out of just doing this, which doesn't happen in very many games, but this just gets me, I don't know, I, I love it, I love how the colors look, I love how sharp it all is, and how the music adds to it as well, alright, but uh, let's check the start screen again, just to see how many eyes we have, 5 out of 5 actually, but I don't think that I have the uh, friend for this one, right? Let's figure out what we need to do here. There's a guy there. Does he say anything important? I know for a fact that you can break all these pots, but I don't know if that is too nice. I would expect that it's not, but let's so maybe talk to this guy. I believe he teaches you patterns, right? Right, it's kind of like triple wave and then back through. I wouldn't know how this now helps me in this situation. What's this gonna do? Fuck. I love exploring. I love exploring in this game. This is like exploring the game with good music and good art. And if that is something for you, I would highly recommend it. <laughs> Alright, and I'm probably gonna call it quits right about now. All these weird flies are flying all over the screen, and I'm just dashing around in the background. But yeah, this is essentially Ho Hokum. So, as I was saying, not a game for everybody, but if you are the kind of person that would enjoy something like this, you're probably gonna enjoy it. Which is a stupid thing to say, but hopefully you're getting what I'm saying here. It's it's very enjoyable if you're into art, if you're into good um, ambient like electronic music and also just exploring all kinds of wacky worlds and yeah I highly recommend it I'm having a blast with the game really really am so thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you with a different video goodbye